positive PLR. And I just wanted to give you a quick demo of how I put together a, a journal page um, using coloring assets because they're both popular, right? Journaling and coloring. So when you combine both of them into one book, it turns out pretty well. So normally when I create a page, I just import or insert all the images I think I'm going to want to use and just start from there. Okay, so I've imported this, one of Niranjan's um, mermaids, which are absolutely gorgeous. And I actually filled this with white and you'll get that as a bonus when you get Niranjan's package through my link. Uh, because his mermaids are all completely transparent, okay, inside and out. But when you're using coloring images in a book or, or working with other images, you're trying to layer them. So it's kind of like you can do that, move that underneath, but if she's transparent and I put her over something, then say this fish would throw her show through her body. So you get that as a bonus. They're all, all 30 of them have white fill so that you can easily insert them into your books and documents. Okay, so I'm going to resize her a bit. And pull her up here. Okay, and these four little thingies here, the fish, uh, are part of your bonus as well. They're in your package. Uh, you'll find them in your Warrior Plus portal. Uh, so, I like this one, but I think I'm going to... He looks like he might look good, like, fit in there somehow. So, I'm going to make him tiny. Pull him over here. And I'm just going to use my arrow keys to set him up properly. There. Perfect. And this little guy, he looks so happy. <laughs> I'm going to pull him in a bit, make him smaller, and I think I'm going to put him down here. Yeah, that looks good. Now I'm not sure what I want to do with these two, so I'm just going to put them off to the side for now. Um, let's say I want to make a travel page, a tr travel book, so I'm going to insert some text, or maybe I'll use word art. Let's try this. Okay. Oops. Just delete that. I'm going to grab this and pull it up here. And let's see. Uh, my magical vacation. Sounds good. Let's just center that. And I'm going to want that to be a different font. So I'm going to come up here. And I think I'll use that font. I like that. And make it a bit smaller. Okay. Pull it over here. Okay, so it's going to be a journal page, so I need some lines in there, right? So I'm going to ins go to Insert, Table. I'm just going to make as many as I can from there. I'm going to bring this up over here. Pull it in. There we go. And then I'm going to come up here and choose this. And for borders, I'm going to go no border and then just the inside borders so you have lines. Now, I have this, I was working on something, so I have this set, as, set up as dash lines instead of a straight line. You can change that if you like, but I actually like the dash lines. One and a half points, pen color is black. Now I need more lines in here, so I'm just going to click inside the table, go over to layout, insert below, 
can just keep doing that to get as many lines as I want. And that's good, I think. Pull that over a little more. And I'm going to send the table to the back. So those lines are underneath the mermaid. Okay, that looks okay. Now let's see. Could make it a little bit more interesting. Let's make that even smaller. 24. It looks really tiny when you're seeing it from here, but it's a 28 point font, so it really isn't that tiny. Okay, I'm going to put the crab up here. Let's make him a bit smaller. And make the font a bit bigger so it fits in there. Pull it up. There we go. Move him down a little bit so it looks like he's sitting on the lines. So that's shaping up to be a pretty cool uh, page. Uh, let's add a box where they can maybe doodle or... So I'm going to go to Insert, Shape, and I'm going to Insert a Rectangle. Or actually, should I... No, I'll leave it a rectangle. So for the shape fill, we want white or no fill. And the shape outline, you want it to be black. Okay, so I think I'll make the outline the same as the lines. So you have those dashes. Maybe make it a little bit bigger, the line. like that and let's put her in the front right to front so that her tail is kind of a little bit over so it kind of connects there and you can actually put him over here fill in that space yeah I like that and there you have a great journal page you know it's gonna be a lot of fun for someone to write on to draw in and to color all at the same time um, I really like that actually I might use that okay so let's do a coloring page with some of the assets. So I'm going to go to insert new slide blank and go to the pictures. Okay. Hmm. So I gave you some elephants as a bonus as well. Here they are. So let's see what we can do with those. I know elephants and mermaids might not go together, but I could come up with something. Okay, I like this guy. He's kind of spitting water. Okay, so now I'm going to resize him. Okay, now let's go get a mermaid, see how we can pair them up. Okay. Oh, no. Bonus. Okay, here we go. Mm. I really like this one. She's cute. Okay, let's make her smaller. Oh, look, and we can put her, <coughs> excuse me, on top of the elephant. It looks like she's floating on the water that he's uh, <laughs> spitting out. I think that's kind of cute. Again, you can leave this as a coloring page just on its own 
or you can add text uh, lines if you want to make you know this a journal again just go to insert table and do the same thing so you could have a, a journal with all different kinds of coloring pages that include mermaids or elephants or anything else you want to use we'll go borders no borders inside borders and let's just add some more lines all the way down And just that simple thing is just awesome as a journal page, in my opinion. <laughs> you know, so it's just fun. I mean, if you opened up a book and you saw that, you get to write something down, you can color. It's just really, really kind of fun. And let's do one more. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with these images. Okay, let's see. Oh, I like this one just like she found treasure I mean just this on its own as a coloring page would be awesome right um, okay let's add, see what else I gave you oh look a treasure chest okay so I think that's that's perfect. Let's just make that smaller. And let's bring the mermaid to the front. So it looks like she's found that jewel inside the treasure box. And there you have a great coloring page. Um, you can add fish if you like here. Um, if you got, if you picked up my mermaid thing, there's scenes in there as well, and uh, seahorses, dolphins, that kind of stuff. So I mean, you you can really go crazy with that, you know. So just these pages were done using Niranjan's mermaids and the bonus that you'll get when you pick it up through my link. So <laughs> the the possibilities are endless, right? So that's it. If you have any questions about this, just hit me up in the Facebook group or send me an email and we'll go from there. Oh, I'm having fun. Okay, I'm going to play some more. Uh, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.